In this studio mock-up, we're going to be installing a Pella flanged window and a wall with a fluid applied membrane. The first step in this installation is going to be installing a sloped sill. The reason for installing this is we want the water to migrate out if we ever do have moisture inside the wall. We could do this in two ways. The first way, which we're going to do here, is we're going to use a piece of cedar bevel siding. The second way, in rough framing, we could slope this sill. We'd simply just cut our jack studs at a five degree bevel. Let's start by installing this sill. To flash the opening, we'll be using the joint and seam product from the same manufacturer. You can see that we've already had it out. It's poking through here. You can kind of see where we've detailed our nail heads and all of the seams in our sheathing. This product will allow us to have one membrane from the inside of the jam all the way and out and onto the face of the WRV. I'm just laying out a bead now to try to get enough that when I work it with the tool that I have good even coverage. I'm not too concerned if I'm a little on the light side, but I am going to take special care to make sure that I'm completely covered. I like to add an extra bead between the subsill and our cedar sill just to make sure that I'm really making that connection. Now the idea is just to spread the product to cover the substrate, making one membrane from inside of opening out and onto the face of the WRV. This joint and seam product works in conjunction with the product that we already rolled onto the wall. This product just has a little more body and fiber to it, making things easier to work and connect. Any spots where you're a little thin, you're able to just lay more product out and tool again. As a good rule of thumb, you want this downturn to extend beyond where the window flange will be. My reasoning for going all the way to the inside of the jam, I might use a little bit more material, but once the window's installed, it's very easy to connect my air barrier from the window jam to the framing jam. Final step before we test fit the window is we're gonna use a couple pieces of our cedar shim and we're gonna place them the opposite direction of our sill. That'll give us a chance to check for level across our opening. We can make any fine adjustments now before we test fit our window. 